And we're back. Yeah, we so, are. So, man, what are we doing today? We are uh, taking our solar guy slash neighbor up to the bus, and he's going to take a look at some of our wiring. Yes, we are trying to get uh, a good idea as to how we are going to move forward with the inside of the setup as far as like our electrical is going because we still really want to keep everything super minimal we want to try to gear this bus for being off grid as much as possible because we are not planning on really being near power hookups um or having like access to regular um, hookups to like water sewer or like all of that stuff so we're really trying to do everything kind of like off the grid um, which is the plan we're gonna have those the solar guy take a look and uh, see what's going on so we'll see when we get there And then see these boys, mm -hmm. then the solenoids, and that's these boys. Mm -hmm. So they just kind of, you know, clip in and out of this. But I mean, of course, like it's it's a it's a crimp style. Uh -huh. So I've got like the two. Well, like once they get there. replaced, like they last for a long ass time. But like, look, yeah, like there's just so many things in here where I'm like, I don't know what it's connected to, what yeah. it came from. Um, they have the diagram, but the problem is that it's just telling me what's supposed to go where. It's not telling me what is actually going where, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then this is just to yeah. keep it from flying open. That's not actually. And then the other thing too is going to say. why I'm like, what is oh. going on here? So yeah. there's no reason it should be connected with anything. Yeah! I got what you're saying. Yeah, that's why I'm like, what the shit is going on? This is a fuse relay with non-conductive plastic and it's there's no splits in the wire. We've got some rewiring to do. We need to hire, um, he knows someone who's gonna come and help us to straighten out all of those wires on the bus. Good times. 